Good morning, students. In today's class, I am going to explain the tenth uh, class English model paper. That is 2020-21. Due to this uh, Corona pandemic situations, 30% syllabus was already de uh, deleted from your English portion, and also <coughs> some changes uh, the ACRT board made even in the question paper pattern also. Now the changes uh, what were made in the question paper pattern that I am explaining to you. Here. In this new pattern uh, question paper, part A and then part B. Uh, two parts are there. First, I will explain to the part A. Part A for uh, 40 marks. Here, the total questions are the objective type questions, means multiple choice questions. First, if you observe in this part A, reading part is the reading comprehension. In this reading comprehension, uh, comprehension first reading comprehension is about the discussive passage. Discussive passage it is a little uh, difficult passage because in this one whatever the paragraphs are there, in the paragraphs different different topics are there. Uh, there is no connection between one topic to the other topic. Like this kind of, uh, this kind of the little difficult uh, comprehension exercise we will give you in this discussive passage. You have to understand what is the main theme of this passage. And uh, you have to understand what to learn from that passage. And based on the vocabulary also means uh, synonyms, antonyms, uh, noun forms, uh, verb forms, adjective forms, adverb forms. Based on this vocabulary also questions will come in the uh, in this comprehension passage. Total twelve questions will come. Total of the multiple choice questions only. Out of twelve multiple choice questions, only ten you have to attempt. The remaining two choice. Ten one just ten minutes. Next, the second one it is it is also the comprehension passage only, but this comprehension passage is called as the factual comprehension passage. Means here the total passage is about the one topic only. Compared with the discursive passage, it is little easy. It is little, it is little easy one. It is about the only one topic. Maybe any statistical data, any graph or pie chart or some chart something they will give to you. You have to uh, analyze that what is the information is there in that. Chart. Next, uh, you have to uh, develop that skills to explain that one. Based on these two skills, analyzing skills and explanation skills. Some of the multiple choice questions will come in the uh, examination. 12 questions will come from this passage. Out of 12, you have to write only the 10. Two choice, 10 ones are 10 marks. Next, uh, if you go through the literature textbook, here also the, some multiple choice questions will come, but uh, based on the extracts. First exercise based on the extracts from a drama post, both books, first flag book and also footprints without the feed book. From these two books, two <coughs> uh, extracts will come. From these two extracts, only one extract you have to print. Uh, in this one extract, also uh, ten, uh, five multiple choice questions will be there. Each question carries the one mark. Five ones are five. Again, I am repeating here the Two extracts will come from these two extracts. Only one extract you have, right? Uh, these extracts will come from the drama, prose, uh, from footprints without the feed book and the first line books. In these two extracts, only one extract you have, right? In each extract, five questions will be there, multiple choice questions, five ones are five ones. Next, fourth one, uh, this is also the extract only, but this uh, extract is based on the point. Already in you. Footprints without the feedback, poetry is not there. So, this uh, uh, question, multiple choice type extra question, will come from the uh, first type book only, from the uh, poetry. Here, you have to analyze and you have to understand what is the main theme of that stanzas, what he is uh, giving in the examination as the extract. Here, the two uh, extracts will come from the poems. Any one extract you have read, each uh, extract will carry the Five marks. Only one extract we have, right? Five questions will be there, multiple choice questions. Five ones are five marks. Next section is the grammar. Grammar, 12 questions. Total multiple choice questions only will come. Out of uh, 12 questions, only 10 you have to write. 10 ones are 10 marks. Some grammar portion is already deleted from your uh, examination uh, portion. That uh, portion along with this. Uh, uh, question paper pattern I am posting to you in your uh, today's uh, assignment link. Please observe the deleted portion from the literature uh, textbooks and 
and also the grammar then you will get the very clear idea uh, this is the uh, objective type questions part a total multiple choice questions are there in this one next part b it is the subjective type. subjective type means long answer type questions short answer type questions will come in this one this is also for the 40 marks here the first writing regarding the writing questions will come the first uh, question it is formal letter writing based on the situation suppose if you buy any uh, electronic gadget like a uh, uh, mobile or something it's not working properly uh, you can give a complaint to the consider the authorities <coughs> about the uh, issue that is the one situation about the chaotic traffic conditions in your locality you can give uh, you could write a letter to the concerned authorities otherwise about the insanitary conditions in your locality you can write the letter like this different different situations based on the situations the formal letter will come in your examination here the 100 to 120 words 100 to 120 words you have to write the uh, letter here the two letters will come out of two any one letter you have to write uh, the letter carries the five marks five marks, uh, five marks. regarding this one uh, tomorrow i will give some more examples and uh, some more explanation also to Next, second one it is in writing section, analytical paragraph writing. This is the new concept introduced in this one in your examination pattern. Before the story writing it is there, but now instead of the story writing, they are doing analytical paragraph writing. In this analytical paragraph writing, one data chart will be there, you use outline, uh, some information it is there, based on that the graph or a, a pie chart. You have to analyze that what is the information is there in that one. First introduction you have to write. That information what is there in that uh, pie chart or graph. In one or two paragraphs you have to write. Last you have to write the conclusion. Regarding this one also some more explanation and uh, uh, some samples tomorrow I will give to you. Next uh, uh, literature section. Here the literature, uh, literature section 30 marks will come. This uh, 30 marks uh, based on the short answers and also long answer type questions. Uh, uh, this 30 marks will come to you. Here the first, uh, from the first slide book, three questions will come. From three questions, any two questions you have to write in 20 to 30 minutes. Again, uh, from four prints without the feed book, uh, three questions will come. In the three questions, any two questions you have to write, um, you have to write in 20 to 30 minutes. Here, two, two. Two from first slide book, two from one. Footprints without the feedback, total four, four to the eight marks. Next, uh, here also the short answer type questions only, but uh, here the marks, uh, marks are the three marks, not the two marks, the same. Short answer type questions only. From first slide three, uh, you have to write two. From footprints without the feedback, three, only you have to write the two. But uh, here the two marks are allotted, but in this section, to each question, three marks will be allotted. Four, three, just. 12 marks. Next, uh, fifth section it is here the long answer type questions. Uh, from first slide book, uh, two questions, long answer type questions will come. From the two questions, any one question you have to write. Five marks, five marks will come. This question based on the creativity, uh, that what you understand from that uh, lesson, uh, based on your imagination, the questions will come to you in your examination. From first slide book, two questions will come. Any one you have to write, that one five ja, five marks. Next, uh, last section it is uh, here also the long answer type questions only, but uh, these two questions will come from the footprints without the theme, based on the main plot of the uh, story. What is the main theme of that uh, story? Regarding this one, based on the creativity, based on the understanding of that, uh, your understanding of that person, questions will come in the examination. In the two questions, out of two, only one question you have to write, one five ja, five marks. Okay. Uh, my dear students, I hope that you understand this uh, new pattern question paper. One sample paper I am posting uh, today along with the, uh, today's uh, link. Along with uh, today's link, I am going to post some uh, question and answers from the <coughs> Nelson Mandela Long Walk to Freedom lesson and the uh, Thief Story lesson. Some of the children requested me that still they didn't complete the notes. So please complete the uh, notes today that what I am posting in the uh, today's link. The remaining children who already completed that notes, please revise the question and answers for your uh, fairly examination. That is your today's assignment. Thank you.